So obviously I'm going to be going in with the Photo Focus Foundation from Wet n Wild in Nude Ivory. I don't have any tan on right now, so it is a really pale color. So when you're doing a festival makeup or festival foundation, my biggest advice, especially if you're going to be somewhere hot and humid, trying to completely mattify your skin to combat humidity and sweat and heat is going to completely work against you. You need a really good balance of moisture and mattification, if that makes sense. You want something that's somewhere in the middle, something that's not going to be too dewy and slipping and sliding around and just getting all gross when you get kind of sweaty or oily, and you don't want something too matte because it's going to start breaking up in weird ways when the sweat and stuff is going to try to break through and get through the elements. That's when you really start looking like a birthday cake is when you try to be too matte, too poreless, too porcelain, all of those things. So you're going to want to have something right in the middle. I do love the packaging. I love that it has the little spatula. I think that's really convenient. If you don't have any breakouts, you can use this directly on the face or if you're really paranoid about bacteria, just kind of spatula it onto the back of your clean hands or onto a clean palette. That's no problem. I don't necessarily love things that you have to pour out. I like a pump or at least a spatula. So I like the, that about the packaging. Now, let's get into primer. I have dry skin, so I've already done all of my regular skincare. It's probably why I look shiny. I have my moisturizer on and all of that. It's been about 30 to 45 minutes, so it's really sank into my skin. So I'm going to go in first with the Milani Prime Light Primer, and I'm going to put this all over my face. And I do have freshly clean hands, otherwise you can just use a brush. And I'm just using a really small amount. You don't want to cake up too many layers on your face, so if you do have your one tried and true primer, then go ahead and just use that one. This does do a decent job of getting rid of the pores and leaves you luminous, and it primes my skin very, very well. I use this primer pretty much with every foundation that I use, so I'm not going to make any exceptions for the photo finish because I know that I'm going to put this on my face. It gives a really beautiful light underneath because I do like to look dewy. I probably could get away with not doing it because if you're going to a festival or anything like that, you're probably going to get kind of sweaty, kind of shiny anyway, but I don't so much mind that, so I'm going to go ahead and use it anyway. So now we're going to go in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I'm in the shade Nude Ivory. This isn't the most pale shade, so if you're lighter than me, um, there will be a shade for you. And it goes fairly dark. I'm not quite sure um, exactly how many shades there are, but I will list it somewhere on screen and down below how many shades there are. So that's what I'm going to start with all over my face and then I'm just going to take a damp beauty blender and just pat this in all over my face. Ooh, that's pretty. This is the second time that I'm using this. I used this the other day and I was like so abnormally harsh on my foundation. So I'm going to go ahead and pat this in. I think I actually went a shade or two too light, but that's okay. I would honestly rather be a little bit too light and then bronze up my skin than have it be too pale. I mean, too dark, too tan. So I'm just going to pat this in. It doesn't have kind of smells like almost fruity. That's really weird. I've never smelled a foundation that smells like that. I don't have a huge problem with pores, but at least it's not it's not exaggerating my pores at all, which is always a good thing. So for a festival, you're really going to want something that uh, has a satin finish. Even if you have oily skin, if you have dry skin, a satin finish is going to kind of be where you want to be because it's not going to move too much, but it's also not going to make you look like a birthday cake. This is definitely giving me a good satin finish. It's a little bit more luminous because I do have the primer underneath, but looking at it up close, it honestly looks like it's almost drying down to like a powder. But I can't, I can't feel it on my face at all. I'm going to go in with one more layer to see if I can build it up. This is so pale, it's making my dark circles look horrendous. So I'm going to go in with one more layer, just a little bit like on my cheeks. I really like this spatula. 
I'm going to build that up a little bit more, just kind of in the center of my face. See if we can get a little bit more coverage there. Mm. My problem areas for my dry patches is right here in between my eyebrows and on my like whole jawline and my chin. I get like rough patches, like scaly, gross skin. And it doesn't seem to be exaggerating any of that, even though it does seem to be drying down to a powder finish almost. It's not exaggerating any dryness, which I definitely appreciate. Yeah, I have a really bad dry patch right here right now, and it's not exaggerating any of it. Seems like it's just airbrushing over it, so. I honestly am loving this so far. My skin definitely looks like almost airbrush, especially over my dry patches. It's not really doing much on like this cheek area, but on my nose, it literally looks flawless. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on some concealer. I don't have any Wet n Wild concealers that I love, so I'm just gonna use the Maybelline Age Rewind to keep it drugstore. I really like this. I definitely recommend this for a festival if you want a full coverage, because it still is in that satin, finish kind of range. If you don't need this much coverage, then the Maybelline Fit Me is going to work wonders for you because it's a little bit lighter coverage but still has that satin finish. I'm going to put this all over my lid as a primer, even though I don't think I'm going to do too much eyeshadow today, but I do have a lot of darkness around my eyes because I don't sleep, so. Or sometimes when, because I put my foundation so high up on my cheek and then kind of drag my concealer over it. The concealer cannot blend so well sometimes. I also went ahead and picked up the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Press Powder. So we're going to use this to powder our face. Obviously they're made to go together so I wanted to give it a try and see if it really went well. So I got the color. They don't, the one pet peeve that I have is that they don't have like the exact colors with the liquid foundation. There's like probably 20 shades of the liquid foundation and there was like five shades of powder. So, and they don't have the same names. So I have the nude ivory shade in the liquid foundation on and then I got natural beige in the powder because it looked the most similar. So that kind of annoys me with foundations. Obviously, Wet n Wild is not the only one that does that, but that just always kind of annoys me when companies do that. Just if you're gonna come out with a powder that matches the foundation, match the colors and make just as many powders. I don't know, it's not rocket science, but I guess it's really difficult to do that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Questionable. It looks beautiful. Okay, the powder is great. I, I love the powder. I don't love the color that I picked. I think it's a little bit pink, but that could have been my fault. That's like the one thing that I, re I really, really hate. I think that the liquid foundation was the right tone for me, maybe just a little bit pale. But this powder is really pink and it's, and my neck is yellow, so it's not really looking right. But um, that, that's the one thing I don't like when they don't have the exact match of the liquid and the powder is that it's kind of a guessing game at that point. Or if So if you already have a powder or a translucent powder that you really like, I would suggest just really lightly setting your face. Don't bake your face. It's going to work against you in the sun. You're going to look like a birthday cake. It's not going to like wear well in the sweat. So yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and put on, you know, some bronzer, blush, highlight, whatever, just a little bit of mascara and my brow, and then I'm gonna wear this throughout the day and see how we're doing. 
Okay, so I just threw on my brows, a little bit of mascara, some gloss. Um, I actually used a Wet n Wild blush and highlight today, just feeling my Wet n Wild self. I just wanted to throw on something like really light, because I'm just gonna wear errands, wear errands today. I'm just gonna run errands today. So here is the foundation with things on it. I love how it looks. I think it blended amazingly, like with my bronzer and everything. Sometimes my bronzer can skip a little bit because I don't overly powder my skin. And honestly, it looks flawless. Like my bronzer that I've been using for forever has never looked this smooth on my face. So I love this foundation so far. We're just gonna have to see how it wears throughout the day. Everything that I use on my face, I am going to list down below as well in case you are curious about any of it. So let's get started. It is noon right now because I've been working all morning. So it is 12, let's see if it focuses, 12.09. I did wear this foundation, I did try this foundation out the other day and I was like so ab abnormally rough on it, but I did wear it for a hike so you can see how it'll do when you're sweating and I definitely took a nap in it. So <laughs> we're going to see like... I was pretty rough on it that day. I don't know how rough I'm really going to be on it today, but I am going to try to wear it for like a full eight hours at the very least. So let's get going. Okay, I'm testing a new foundation. I've had it on for like five, five and a half hours now. And I just did like two hours of hiking. So what are we thinking? I feel like it looks really fucked up around my mouth. But I was sweating my absolute dick off though, so the sweat stash was probably real. Honestly, it hasn't gotten any worse around my mouth. You can just see where it's like slightly breaking up right there. And honestly, everything else looks so good. I normally, I, I don't know if you can see, but I have two pretty deep lines in my forehead. So foundation always, always, always settles in there, no matter what. And it's honestly not that bad. Normally I'll look really dry on my entire like jawline and chin and then in between my eyebrows and it really doesn't look that bad. I know it looks shiny here but that's because I have highlighter on my chin. I have super dry skin so none of this shine that you're seeing is my natural oils. That is all fakety fakety fake. Um, but even though this foundation doesn't have any like shine to it really, it doesn't dry me out. <laughs> my dog and it doesn't look too dry um actually it looks i'm like very pleased with how it looks and i've been abnormally rough on it today like i said earlier and it's held on to my bronzer and my blush and my highlight perfectly this foundation has like locked onto everything without making me look extra extra dry which i can appreciate so we're gonna try this tomorrow on a more normal day when I'm not so rough on my face. See you tomorrow. <laughs> okay, it is 429, I don't know if you can see that, but it's looking pretty good so far. I get really bad like settling like lines and cracks right in here and it's not doing that at all. I'm so tired, I'm so puffy, so excuse that <laughs> i'm sorry honestly it almost looks better than when i put it on it looks like it's kind of melding more to my skin and it's not breaking up at all and it's been what four hours four ish hours now so that's pretty good this this foundation oh yeah i forgot to mention earlier i did take a flash test so i'm going to put those pictures up right now so you can see that there is no flashback just like the um foundation claims and the powder so that's good. And I didn't put any setting powder, which at first, or not setting powder, I didn't put any setting spray, which at first I thought that I was gonna regret, but honestly, it's just looking better the longer I wear it. It looks amazing. So I was really impressed the other day when I was hiking, after I hiked, all of my highlight and all of my bronzer was still there and it was still, pat uh, it was still there and it wasn't patchy at all, um, which is holding true today, obviously, because all I've done is like, walk my dog, eat some food, and do work. <laughs> um, but it is a pretty hot day and it's pretty humid, so I know I'm wearing this now because it's kind of cold in my house, but um, when I was walking, I got not maybe sweaty, but like really hot and it's super humid. I live in South Texas, so it's humid. And uh, I know I keep looking at myself in the viewfinder, but this foundation looks really, really good. I'm so impressed. It's not settling in my laugh lines at all either 
which I kind of expected. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty pleased so far for four hours. That's pretty good. I look so tired, but foundation isn't gonna fix the fact that I got four hours of sleep last night, so. So, let's see. Final thoughts, honestly, I love this foundation. I, okay, so it didn't, on my dry patches in between my forehead, in between my forehead, in between my eyebrows and along my jawline, they honestly look better than when I put this foundation on. I thought throughout the day it was gonna get a little bit more dry and crackly, but it almost like melted into my skin, which is amazing. And for some reason I only have one side of my face doing like the laugh line creasing, so I must have done something really weird or I was, I've been eating like all day, so I don't know what happened there, but I must have been doing something really special to only get one laugh line instead of two. But honestly, from the time it settled in my, um, I have really deep forehead wrinkles, two really deep ones, and any any foundation that I try, high end or drugstore, they settle in there immediately. But since the time I put this foundation on, it hasn't gotten any worse. So that is like A plus to me, like, as long as it doesn't get worse from when I put it on, from when it initially is gross, then it's fine with me. And I love, this happened the other day when I was hiking with this foundation. It held onto my bronzer, my highlight, and my blush so wonderfully. There is not a single patch of bronzer missing or highlight or blush, anything. Not even my blush has faded. I would recommend this foundation purely based off of that, especially if you have that type of skin that color just falls right off and your, your bronzers and your blush just seem to like die within two hours. I would highly, highly, highly recommend this foundation just because of that. My face makeup looks beautiful, like the powders that I put on top. Now I will say the, the problem that I had with this powder at the beginning, it doesn't really bother me too much. I feel like it wasn't a big enough difference to tell once I had all of the face makeup on, but it is just kind of annoying that they don't have the exact match. The powder, take it or leave it, honestly, but the liquid foundation is immaculate. The other day when I used this foundation, I didn't have this powder. I picked this up this morning before I filmed this video because I was already at Walmart for something because um, I just wanted to try it. And I would say this is not super necessary, but the liquid foundation is what it's all about. I really like this foundation. I highly recommend this foundation, especially for hot weather. So I definitely recommend this for a festival look, especially if you want full coverage. There are other more sheer foundations out there that will last like this, but if you want a full coverage foundation that feels like nothing on the skin and lasts forever, this is gonna be your guy, especially if you're in that drugstore price range. If you're curious about any of the other products that I used on my face, they will be listed down below along with my Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, all of those good things. I am the most active on Instagram if you really, really want to interact. I don't think I have anything else to say, so wherever you are, whatever you're doing, just have a good one.